Hi guys, it's Paul from Paul Cole Cricket and firstly I apologise for the lack of content. I appreciate it's been quite a long time since I've uploaded a video. Uh, I'm writing the wrong today though. I'm here in Uzi Sports uh, about to review a lot of new 2023 bats. Um, really excited to say and starting with the Grey Nichols Mega Power Original uh, which is part of the Grey Nichols Original Collection. Uh, classic bat um, now available again for 2023 in this five star grade which is grade two English Willow. It is only available in this grade unfortunately so it's not like a full range from Grey Nichols. Um, in terms of the looks um, we'll start with that um, and as I said grade two so it's never going to be stunning. There's a couple of small blemishes there, grains aren't perfectly straight um, but yeah there's eight grains there so, you know, reasonably good looking for a grade two, I would say. Not really any heartwood or anything like that either. In terms of the stickers, this is something I absolutely love. I'm a big fan of purple, and you can see it here in the grip and in the stickers, as well as the Grey Nichols detailing here in the red and the purple, uh, which I really, really like, and here in the black. Um, so, yeah, stickers-wise, I love it, at least on the front. On the back, I don't like it quite as much, which I'll talk about in a second. But firstly, we'll show the part of the sticker that I do like here at the top. Uh, but then, yeah, in, t in terms of the shape, it's it's a bit like a hybrid between the Dynadrive and the Nemesis from Grey Nichols. Uh, you might remember those bats from previous years, certainly the Dynadrive, very well known. The Nemesis, perhaps a bit less so. Um, but the, the Nemesis had this sort of dramatic bulge up here where it was hardly any wood up higher up as here, and then it has this big bulge here. So that's similar, borrowing that from the Nemesis, but obviously this twin scoop uh, borrowing that from the Dyna Drive, which was so popular, such a classic Grey Nichols bat. I think the scoops on the Dyna Drive ran up slightly longer on the blade, um, but it's it's ultimately for the same reason, to try and take weight out here, away from the middle, so you're still getting a nice meaty sweet spot, but you know helps lighten the pickup here and take some weight out. What I must say though that I really do not like is the finishing quality on the stickers here. As you can see on both the scoops, um, it's, it's all over the place if I'm honest. It looks absolutely terrible. Um, you know, can't they just have one complete sticker? No, there's sort of slits everywhere on both sides. It just looks really cheap to be honest. I'm not a fan at all. And it's a shame because apart from that, I, I do really like the bat. Um, but yeah, <laughs> in terms of the pickup, you might be expecting, because it's a low middle as well, by the way, so it's great for front foot play, great for use on slow pitches, a lot of mass lower down, and we'll see shortly in the mallet test how you, that's really noticeable. Uh, but for me, it makes the pickup a little bit bottom heavy. It's probably no massive surprise, um, because of obviously the concentration of weight lower down the blade. Uh, it's, the bat is £2.10, and for me, it feels half an ounce to an ounce heavier than that maybe up to 211 sort of feel for me so yeah not a it's advertised by gray nichols as a light pickup but in my opinion it's not it really isn't and um, that said if you had a second grip or something it would it would lighten it for sure it feel a little bit more balanced then as it is obviously just has the just the one grip so there's something to maybe bear in mind but yeah um, in terms of this grip it's like a traction uh texture which i personally really like um looks very good quality and as i said that really nice uh, purple colour. In terms of the specs, I'll just show you going through the gauge that it's fully compliant to MCC Law 5. Goes through reasonably comfortably, as you can see there. It's 38 millimeter edges, a 60 millimeter spine, and a 21 millimeter toe. And as I said, two pound ten. So reasonably big. Obviously, you're getting a nice wide middle there, sort of full in that middle area before it starts to, the, the scooping takes effect. So reasonably wide middle there as well. But yeah, let's do that good old mallet test. I'll bounce the ball on it shortly afterwards as well so you can hear how it sounds. Working our way from the toe up to the bottom of the stickers first. So yeah, obviously better lower down, not a massive surprise, I'm sure, to, to, to hear that. Um, not amazing up high, but then you kind of expect that given how much relatively little wood there is up there. So I don't think this is ideal for those really fast pitches or if you like to play in the back foot a lot. But if you are more of a front foot player, it's absolutely ideal. Um, I thought it was sort of medium to soft, um, you know, so I don't think it'll take too long to reach peak performance level as well. Let's see with the ball now. Up high, 
down low. Yeah, exactly what I was just saying, sort of emphasized further there with the ball. It's not great responsiveness up there, but really, really good down here. I didn't mention earlier, but it's the square toe, which is so in vogue at the moment. So many people are going for that. Um, when you're tapping it down, it feel, feels nicer, I think. Um, also gives that sort of impression of a bigger bat when you're looking down at it uh, compared to the rounder toes of old. Um, no anti-scuff sheet or toe guard fitted, interestingly, on this bat. I think grey nickels are doing slightly less of that than they used to. You might want to think about adding things like that for a bit of extra protection if you were to get the bat. Um, otherwise, a few other details. It's semi oval handle, so it's good if you're a top-handed or a bottom-handed player, really. And in terms of the price... Uh, Uzi Sports are selling this for £259.99. Um, as I said, Grade 2 English Willow. I think that's a very competitive price for what it is. Um, you've got to bear in mind that Uzi Sports do handpick the bats as well from the Grey Nichols factory in Roberts Bridge. Um, um, big selling point for me, and I'd highly recommend on that basis. Um, you can order them from anywhere in the world from Uzi Sports, or you can come down to their store here in Swindon. The link is in the description. But yeah, in terms of value for money and everything, I think it's solid. I really do. You know, for the, the modern day bat market, a bat of this quality, two hundred fifty nine ninety nine. There's just a few little things, mainly with this sticker, like I said, in the pickup. Not really for me personally. Um, but thanks very much for watching this video, guys. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and stay tuned for more content com coming soon. Thanks again.